Welcome! In this video, we'll guide you through the setup of your 4G onboard unit, explain the first steps, and highlight key points to ensure a smooth start. To set up the onboard unit correctly, please use the Quick Start Guide. Locate the correct spot on the windscreen where you want to place your onboard unit. With tinted windscreens, there's usually a designated area with no tint. Clean your windscreen using the provided cloth and wait until the windscreen is dry to ensure that your onboard unit stays firmly in place. Remove the protective film from the Velcro strips attached to the back of the onboard unit. To place the onboard unit on the windscreen, check that the display is at the top and navigation wheel and keys are at the bottom. Also make sure that the onboard unit does not obstruct your view while driving. Then press the back of the onboard unit with the Velcro strips firmly onto the windscreen. There are two ways to power your onboard unit. The first is the recommended fixed installation to ensure trouble-free operation and avoid penalties. Follow our fixed installation tutorial if you're familiar with vehicle electronics or contact your truck service maintenance center for advice. The second option is flexible installation via the cigarette lighter socket. Simply plug in the power cable. If your truck only has a USB connection, you may use a high-quality 12-volt adapter, but at your own risk. The onboard unit installs itself automatically. This process may take a few minutes. Once your onboard unit lights are green, the system is ready and you're good to go. When replacing an EATS onboard unit with a 4G device or vice versa, Always switch off the old device before powering on the new one. The display shows you the flag and name of the country that you're currently in, your license plate number, Euro emission class and, when relevant, the weight and the number of axles. At the top of the display, you can find the logo of your sales partner, your battery status and type of power supply, Bluetooth, mobile network signal and the GNSS signal. For some countries, the driver needs to select the correct number of axles of the trailer and, when necessary, the actual maximum weight of the vehicle combination. To enter that, use the quick access. Left button for axles, right button for weight. For more information on how to do this, please check out our video tutorial, Set Axles and Weight. We recommend an axle and weight selection to be done when changing the trailer, independently of the current location you're in. On the first menu level, you can, for example, set your preferred language and check your booked toll services. When you click on a menu item, you will find further levels and settings. The green light signals to the driver that everything is fine, that toll calculation is active and working properly. The yellow light indicates that the toll service is not booked or activated. If entering a non-covered toll area, the display will show no service provided, use local toll provider. If you are in a country which is not booked on your toll device, the display will show the message Service not booked or activated. You can continue driving, but should check local toll payment methods. For questions, contact your sales partner and respective customer service. If your onboard unit lights up red, you must stop immediately. This indicates that something is wrong with the device or the toll collection. The yellow screen battery warning light comes on if there is a problem with the power supply and the battery level drops below 25%. The onboard unit will start beeping and display a yellow flashing warning on the screen. The driver must confirm that the message has been read 
by pressing the right button before the normal screen display can be restored. Toll for Europe provides a flexible, reliable and future-proof tolling solution, keeping you on the road with ease. For more information, visit tollforeurope.eu.